fellas. Hopefully, fellas. Um, this is mini back. Today, I got a load of stuff in. Um, I was asked by one of the people that sent it to me um, that he wanted to see me open it. So I'll wait for him to get here. Um, all I'm doing right now is just removing the address so that way his address isn't known. But I... sit down all right first thing I want to open up is from our friend Edgar over at scale riders if you guys haven't um, found scale riders yet um, he's on Instagram he's on um, Facebook um, he does a podcast um, really neat guy um, he is part of um, masterpieces model car club which if you guys know their reputation they're great builders um armando has been very um very helpful to the mr mini greens bench over the years um i've got to see a lot of um of their um masterpieces um projects before they started um you know there's some great builds coming um out of there so let's open up and see what we got from scale riders oh there's yeah he shows a model scale riders model car culture um the podcast and then i like this stamp edgar that is rocking you're being too loud bud so let's check this see what we got here i need to open up a new blade guys this one right here don't even want to cut an envelope and see what did Edgar send us. We got a package full of cards. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, bench swag. Yeah, he told me he was going to send me some stickers. Um, okay. Thanks, Edgar. Um, it looks like one is of the podcast. You guys, might it might be white, whiting out. Um, we got one of... Um, the scale writers um, established in 2017 create your own vision i like that and i like the two hobby knives edgar that's sweet almost want to put this on the side of a van instead of underneath my desk i like that um and then we got um the scale writers in the japanese uh font which is pretty sweet and then we got um Edgar, I don't know if these aren't stickers, guys. These are some really nice. These are some really nice cards, like index cards. And right here, you guys will be able to find them on Instagram. Um, like I said, if you guys um, do Instagram, um, I don't do Instagram, but I know Edgar um, through his podcast and through Facebook and through, uh, like I said, um, the Masterpieces Model Car Club. Um, out of California um, so thanks Edgar I really appreciate these like these a lot man that's fancy dancy you guys make me look bad all I got small cardboard Mr. Mini Dreams cards alright um, you guys can contact Edgar um, get a hold of him he does do a, a Facebook feature um, are, are you are you I don't want to use them as stickers, though. They look so sharp. You know what I'm saying? All right. Then, let's see. We got another card from my boy, George, over there at Vision 124. Let's see what George has got. It looks feels a little thick. wonder what he's got more stickers i hope oh yeah okay guys um like i said if you guys are part of um the mustang giveaway in one of the secret envelopes he sent me another postcard um i love this car 
But dude, look at that BMW. That is my favorite of George's. Um, I just really like that. All right, I'm going to put this back in the envelope so I don't lose that. Looks like George sent me some more diversified Skeller cards. Oh, you knucklehead. I have the I have the Mazda on the desk, but he did he made the he made the um he made the BMW a sticker for me. Sweet dude, I love the BMW. Guys, look how cool that is. Now I'm gonna have to move the glass um and put the BMW right by the desk. matter of fact I'll do that right now. Thanks, George. Um, guys, look for more giveaways for the diversified stickers. Um, we'll have a program soon, um, being able to use those. Um, now look, now I got BMW and Mazda stickers. Sweet. Thanks, George. Um, we're going to take a, a break for our local sponsor, Vision124. All right, I'm going to lift the glass. Hope the camera's not in the way. I'm going to get my fingers under it. All right, let's do that. George, I'm putting it right above the diversified. And um, if you guys hadn't seen, our good friend Steve from Hyro Boy sent me a, a beard beards must be worn at all times sticker and i'm gonna put the bmw right by that there you go george look right there on the spot yep 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 love it george thank you all right now our good friend in the community knows i was doing stuff um for george and um the Diversified Skellers, um, he hooked me up with this pretty sweet deal. I'm not going to say um, how sweet this deal was, um, but it was practically given to me. Um, we paid for the shipping, and we paid him a little bit. Um, not at all what the kits are valued, um, but we plan on you know doing things. Um, and he wanted to send me... Um, I did purchase these. Um, but he made them so cheap. He made them so cheap. Let's see what we got from Dave Darrow. Um, we got this Nissan Skyline came in. Um, we're going to check it out. Um, George has been looking for some Nissan decals. Um, so we'll probably donate these um, to George at Vision124. Um, he's been looking for different Nissan decals. He has a few different builds coming up. Um, so I picked this up just for the decals. Um, there's a few parts in here that have been started. Um, and I told Dave that's not a problem. Um, he show, he shared with me the picture that the motor um, the motor was already started. Um, but anyway, um, if you guys don't know the Tamiya kit, all the skylines, the hoods come clear. All of them. Um, in this body style, I think this is the 30, I think this right here is the R32 style. Um, I may be wrong, I don't know. Um, but this body style, um, John Stancliffe over the over at um Gap Hill Speed Shop, um, he did, uh, I believe the panda version of this, John. And, oh my God, John opened it all up. It's got a wide body kit on it. I mean, it comes with a little wide kit, but John did it a lot wider. Um, the doors are all open. You guys can see that build featured over on the Gap Hill Speed Shop page um, or on ScaledWorld.net. It's been featured. Um, so, it's right here. And, and, and um, Dave told me it was started... And there might be pieces missing. Um, I told him, as cheap as you're selling it to me, I'll work around anything that's broken, damaged, or missing. Um, that ain't that ain't a problem. Um, if you guys don't know Dave Damro, um, he is always on Facebook. Um, George, I don't know if you'll be able to use these. Um, I know our friend Mike at Topper Vision has been doing some sun bleaching. 
um, this week. If you guys haven't checked out Topper's channel, um, but George, like I said, George has been after different Nissan decals. Um, this was cheap enough. I can build it, um, use the motor, part it out, what have you. I am building a lot of the Sunny trucks. Um, but um, I know George is after Nissan decals, so I picked this up just in case it was something George can use. Um, I do like the different window banners. It gives you a red or a blue. Um, I already found um, the Calsonic decals for George in one of his projects. Um, I don't want to give all his projects away, but we picked up this Nissan from Dave. Let's see. We got this one. I tried to get this one earlier um, because our friend Pete over there at scaledworld.net, he is actually working on one of these. And um, George was working on a two-door version, I, and I couldn't find this. Um, Dave found this kit already open um, and picked it up over here uh, for me. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Hazagawa's been making some decent kits. Um, he, what's this bagged up in here? He's got a couple of different sets of wheels. This thing is loaded with wheels, Dave. Did you know all these wheels were in here? Um, he sent me a picture of it and asked, was this the kit I was interested in? Oh, Dave. I'll, I'm going to have to contact Dave. Because something tells me, I know Dave loves his wheels. Something tells me that I might have got something that he didn't go all the way through yet, guys. Um, but there is a few sets of wheels and tires in here. Um, I was after the four-door body. And we were going to do some custom work to it. Um, uh, my friend Chaz was wanting to do um, the Sunny Trans kit on his two-door 510. Um, James Duff made a few comments that, you know, reveals a different scale than Tamiya or Hazagawa, I should say. Um, that's what um, Chris Hell's C1 kit is based off of. And I got some Volkswagen parts in here. This thing is loaded with parts. Um, Nissan Skyline wheels. Dave, I don't know if you meant to send all this, but I'm going to contact you on Facebook. Here's the glass. Here's the chrome. Tail lights. Maybe get, get in the picture. And here's the chassis. Here's the interior pan. Which I like the back seat is separate, guys. That's cool. I don't know if anybody else has built this. Here are wannabes. I don't believe both seats are there. There's a gang ton. Look at these. These are pretty nice. I have to build a lip for these. I'm going to have to get with Dave. Um, I got this one here. I got this one here really cheap. Um, Dave did mention that it, it looked started. He couldn't guarantee if it was complete. Um, but in all honesty, I know Dave likes his wheels and stuff. I'll have to make sure that this stuff belongs to me. A couple different sets of... One set looks like a... Okay. Well, this is titled as a Bluebird 1600, not a Datsun 510, but it looks like it has both sets of wheels for the Bluebird and the Datsun. If you guys know your early Datsun, um, the Datsun would have um, these wheels here, and then the Bluebird would have these, and one would be the Na Nissan version, the Datsun version. I'm going to have to contact you, Dave. Something don't seem right here. You know, sometimes I know I'm a, I'm a builder and I'll have a bunch of stuff on the bench. And then sometimes it all gets put in a box as I go to clean up. Um, so I just want to make sure um, that I have what I'm owed. You guys understand what I mean. Um, Dave's a good friend. Um, just like um, made a deal with Robert over there at the Busted Knuckle Garage um, for a Porsche. Um, the body head broke. 
um, day, uh, Robert had sent me the Porsche and he had said that he'd send me the Porsche with the broken body, um, that he was going to keep the wheels and tires from it. Um, when I received it, the wheels and tires were still intact. Um, so I contacted him and then, um, replay, uh, sent him the wheels back. Um, I don't want nothing that ain't in our original deal, Dave. Um, so I'm going to leave all this stuff out. That's quite a bit was left in that box, Dave. Um, I will contact you on that. Um, but I'm glad I got that. And I got that stuff out of the way. Um, just a great looking little kit. Um, some of the older historic, uh, historic car series um, that you guys know. Um, when we purchased um, the other Datsun. Um, it's a battery powered car. But this right here was a fairly new tool. So it's got the full interior. And look at this baby. Now here I have a plan. If I can afford it, I pick this kit up from Dave. If I can afford it, I want to take the C1 kit, the carbon signal kit that I'm using now on the C1 Sunny build that we just started last week. Uh, I want to take that kit and actually add it to this car. Um, I know um, Fujimi has a two-door Skyline. Um, with the big over fenders, but I want to put the squares on here um, Let's check this one out. I was notified that this one here had been started too um, Which I didn't care like I said Dave gave me a hell of a deal on these and that's why I want to make sure that Dave gets what he's entitled to because the skyline the factory skyline wheels are here They are here So I'll, I'll contact Dave and see if he needs that set back um, I only see nope there's both sides of the motor so both sides of the motor are here there's the exhaust there's the hood and there's the other over fender it looks complete enough for me to build buddy yep, there's the chrome wonder how far wonder how much I'll have to see how much Chris actually narrowed all this stuff to fit the sunny truck because I could use because looking in here Instead of using the resin stuff that Chris sent, I'll use all this plastic stuff and use the resin stuff in. Look, I can even change the door panels. Now that I have the skyline, I can even change the door panels on the truck for Scaled World to real skyline door panels. There's the dash. I don't care for the wheels. I like the custom wheels, so we won't do that, but... Look, I can add, I can actually add. You you think he narrowed it a lot, brother? God dang it. But look, I can I can add a skyline console. You know, in between the bucket seats. And then like I said, um, I got these cheap enough off of Dave that um I could sacrifice this kit or I can build me a coop. Um, but it does have the right motor. That I would love to put in here instead of the R32 motor. Um, I would love to use this motor. If you guys can't see it on here, um, our friend Marcus Cruz, he does have a channel. Um, he does have a channel here on YouTube. Um, Sometimes it, it it's it's in um, Spanish, uh, Puerto Rican stuff um, language sometimes, but then he does do a few videos in English. Um, easy to understand. His English is great. Um, his Puerto Rican is dead on. <laughs> Sorry, Marcus. I had to, I had to, uh, Marcos, I had to say that. Um, but he's a very great builder. He's detailed one of these kits, man. So beautiful. You guys can see it too on scaledworld.net. Um, but this is the motor I wanted for um, the C1 um, Carbon Signal Sunny. Um, so we bought this kit knowing um, we were going to part it out. Um, and when I mean cheap, guys, I mean all three kits plus shipping was like buying one kit if i'm honest with you so i had to pick the deal up um dave does have a few things for sale right now um so i'm gonna try so hard next year to make that show buddy um i'm going to um 
I had family I had family obligations, bud, that, that took me away this year. But usually I attend every year, usually. Alright, so we've seen two envelopes. We've seen one box from Dem Demro. Um, you guys can find him on Facebook. Um, right now he's got a lot of stuff up for sale, some Porsches. Um, a Mercedes Benz. Um, he offered me a hell of a deal on a Mercedes Benz. I just don't do the Benz. And if you guys know me, I'm not much of a collector. Um, I buy stuff to either part out or build. Um, that's just the room I have for it. All right, now this next box I can't put on camera. Um, it is from Gap Hill Speed Shop, which John is in the in the um viewing for us right now. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. I'm um, opening it up now, John. And I'm going to see what is in here. I like how John paid for two days shipping at $15. It was supposed to be here a day ago. <laughs> like when you get your car estimated on and they tell you it's going to be $900 to fix it. And you go to pick it up, and it's $1,200. And then their next response will give you an estimate. <laughs> That's what the post office says about, well, we gave you an estimated time. It should have been there within this, that, and the other. John's got this pack with Walmart bags. Walmart bag, Walmart bag. John, I got some foam. And I got some bubble wrap. Let's see what we're doing here. Uh-oh, I got something that says top. All right. All right, I got one thing. I do finally got the real Gap Hill Speed Shop shop card. Nothing written on the back. John's a man of few words. <laughs> All right, let's see. This right here says top. And green tape on this side. So let's open this up. Alright. More bubble wrap and more foam. Let's see what this is. Got to be patient and careful. Patient. Oh my god. You didn't. If you guys have not attended John's channel over at Gap Hill Speed Shop, he's been working on some street rod stuff here lately. Look what John... It needs a little bit of fixing, John. It took a little bit. But guys, John has shared this build with a few of us before. You do not understand what it he's went through on this one. Um, it is a rotary... Holy crap. John, I'll have to get that fixed. Um, it is a rotary motor. Um, cloth interior seats. This is one he did a custom frame on. Um, we'll have to get that fixed up. Um, some chain gear and some watch gears right there for the steering. See if that will fix up. Now, John is way better at weathering than I am. I'll tell you that firsthand. Um, John's best friend, guys, um, was Blair Fletcher. Um, and we know Blair passed away suddenly just a week before the NNL East um, last year. Um, I got to do a little bit of repairs to here, but look at the, the Webbers are sick, dude. Coming off the side there like that. Um, I'll get it on the turntable here, John, after um, I relocate some of the stuff for us. And um, get it showing. Um, got the Z wheels on it. Got a custom shifter. This thing is just bad to the bone, John. Dang. And if you guys... That thing is rocking. Now, let's see what else we got in there. Wow. All right, more bubble wrap. I think John thinks I need a bubble wrap for him. Let's see what else we got. We got some foam. We got some more foam, some more bubble wrap. I think John spent more on bubble wrap than he did on shipping. He told me it was going to be packed where you couldn't 
where it wouldn't be damaged and he ain't lying. Oh, okay, I see what it is. John showed me a few kits and he asked, was I interested in any of them? And I told him if I had the money, I would take them all. He goes, well, I'll send you one and you get in the International uh, Scale Modelers um, race car thing they're they are going to start in july and i told john to pick something for me um john picked the r89 um if you guys don't know this this is a one of the 24 hours of le mans cars um they run this um rain or shine when they run it it's a pure to real 24 hour race um Dude, this is sick, John. Let's open it up. I want to check it out. I've never had this kit. Look at that. That's some bright, bright decals. They are cardiograph. Dude, Hazagawa stepped it up for this one, John. You ain't lying. This is a nice kick. Can you guys see all the vents are wide open? It's got all the Zeus snaps in it. Wheels, tires. Here's what's a shame. Look at them wheels. Those rear wheels look sick. And yet they're all closed up. Got the tire decals. We got a piece set now. I'll have to find out what that is. Oh, John, it does have the motor and everything, don't it? Guys, we'll have to do an inbox review of this next week before we get into the build itself. Um, I like that, John. Thank you. John showed me uh, a few other things, and I didn't know what to pick, so I told him, surprise me, and lo and behold, I got a pretty, pretty badass kit, John. Thank you. Man, I can't wait to check this out. Man, let's get the turntable out, guys. I don't know who that is. We don't answer numbers. We don't know. Now, John, is this a display piece? Is this something that we um, use? You want me to keep this for my personal collection? Or do you want me to... Um, me and John's talked a few times, guys, about doing um, a raffle or a giveaway with one of his builds. I'm going to let John decide. I do know for a fact... Um, this was done using the weathering processes um, that Blair and John would do together. Um, it, it does have a custom rotary motor. Um, it has Steve Zimmerman wheels and tires. Um, like I said, the cloth seat in it. Um, a custom shifter. It, guys, you have to see this in person. This thing is legit. Love the chain detail, John. Where did you get a chain that small? Alright, John, no problem. No problem. Watch, guys, as it comes around. Got the drum brakes, the finned drum brakes at that. Got the weather decal. See that chain steering wheel? And then right here. Dan Cliff. That is just rocking. Let's look at that a little closer up. Got the Webbers all all ran. Dude. Got the cylinder. You see all the coils on the cylinder. The rust details. The rust effects. The 
the bird on the radiator. And I'm trying to get you guys to see. That's a real cloth seat for the interior. And then the way that rust is. I just wanted you guys to check that out. Now on the rear end, it does got the coil overs. Got the fuel cell. Let's see what else am I going to get? Yeah, John, just just like our buddy Bob uh, Stig just said, dude, great looking detail. Um, it sacrificed a little bit on the ride over, but you got to understand, guys, this, this model's been from Pennsylvania to Alabama, now to Missouri. Um, heck, you know, it's it's got real miles on it, guys, so, it, so it's done some traveling. And... Um, the rotary ain't even leaking no oil, John. You must have put good seals in it. <laughs> but the coils look great. Radiator, all that, guys. Check that out. Oh, okay. This is the one that's been up. I thought you got the turbo-powered one um, when when it went up. I know John did another one. Um, I know John did another one um, with uh, um, I thought it was a Honda motor and a turbo, I believe. Um, I didn't know this was the one. <laughs> All right, so guys, it's went from Pennsylvania to New York to New Jersey to Alabama and then to me. So it's gotten almost 3,000 miles on it if you add up all the miles. Um, so for a model to be shipped that far, that many different hands touching it, John, I'm surprised the only thing... That has come loose was the radius arms. Um, to be honest, um, everything else is intact. Um, it's just beautiful, and I love more miles. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't say that, Stig. Um, I'm lucky enough. Um, my wife likes to travel. The kids like to travel. Um, so we do a lot of family vacations. Um, I wish to someday do a, a show vacation, um, but right now we're focused on some other things, and by the time um, the wife and I both get time off with the kids, uh, you know, usually in the wintertime, um, the show seasons are done, and, you know, maybe one year we'll get, we'll get somewhere where there's a show. Yeah, John, this thing is... This thing is junk, but it's beautiful junk. <laughs> um, once heard a guy at a car show say, um, this guy showed up with the 30, I think it was a 31 Buick, 34 Buick or something. Um, I couldn't tell what it was in the 30s. A lot of them looked alike, um, especially when they don't have no fenders or, or no bonnets on them and stuff like that, you know. Um, a guy said his was painted turquoise. It was a beautiful turquoise. It had turquoise wheels, kind of like what John has on it, not as wide. Um, in the back, that was mostly skinny all the way around. Um, at a real, well, it was a cruise night, something like a car show uh, me and my dad used to go to all the time. Um, and he said, that is not a rat rod. A rat rod are junk that people keep running that... That guy had painted his car and had painted wheels that it's that it's a cruiser, not a rat rod. So if rat rods have to be junk, John, this thing here is junk, but it's beautiful junk. Look at look at it, man. Pictures, guys, pictures on the internet save a lot of builds. We see a lot of builds um, that look great in person and look shitty on camera or they look like crap on camera and look great you know so being able to get to see something um hands-on by a good friend a great builder um it is this is truly it awesome john thanks for letting me check this out and view this um 
The only thing I don't like about it, John, is um, it's not mine. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. And I love perfect decal fade. See, that's what I need to learn. One thing that I was trying to learn on is I wanted to add, um, for like all my Volkswagen stuff, um, when I used to play Forza 4, um, I have a modified Xbox. A few of my friends from across the, the globe had modified Xboxes. So we, were, we had um, a guy... Um, make us disc where we could um, do hood deletes, door deletes. We could uh, switch wheels, stuff that wasn't allowed in the game. Um, so what we would do, he told me about a European club called um, Southwest Dubbers. And I'd made a, a bunch of door emblems. And then I rusted up my rabbit and stuff. Um, I'd rusted up my rabbit and stuff and I faded in... Um, the southwest dub setters um on the door and i had made a bumblebee and and all kinds of stuff you know um but i don't i never knew how to fade the decal in um now seeing what john's done i think that gives me a good a good impression on what has been done hey what's up george i just shared with everybody um, the new stickers you sent, the BMW already under the glass, right above the Mazda. Um, thank you, George, for the new decals. Love them. Um, I picked up another Nissan this week, George. Um, if you want the decals out of that for um, one of your projects, uh, just rewatch the video. Um, when you get time and I'll have those in there. I know I have the Calsonic set in somewhere and I don't know what I did with them because I don't believe I've mailed them to you yet. Unless I did, I don't know. I got so much going on here and I've been slipping and misplacing crap. So hopefully I did send them to you. All right, guys. Well, this is me. Doing a mailbox opening. Woo! Tired. Appreciate you guys coming in here. John, I'm going to do some doctoring up on this. I got some things to take care of today. Um, I will try to get a hold with you um, soon, brother. You guys all have a great day. Um, enjoy your hobby. Enjoy the friendships. Yeah. Um, George was after l Nissan logos and stuff, uh, John. Um, so con get with George and see if there's something there you can help him out with. Um, I took a set out of my R32 and I placed them somewhere. So I gotta, I gotta locate them, George. Alright guys, before I leave you, this build... By John Stancliffe, Gap Hill Speed Shop. Um, right here, if you guys ain't subscribed to John's channel, um, get over there. Um, check him out. He's been doing a few series um, a while back on how he does his frames and um, some of the work that he does on some of his rat rods. Um, I believe he auctioned that build off or raffled that build off. I'm not sure if he still has that one in his possession. Um I've done a few things to add to the Mustang, um, the Mustang thing we're doing right now. Um, if I could get 10 people to guarantee to buy 20 tickets, to buy 10 tickets a piece at $2 a piece, I will lower the, the sales for everyone to $2. But as right now, the tickets are 5 bucks a piece. If you buy 10, you get to pick an envelope between 1 and 10. And there's three different Mustangs you guys can choose from. And then I made up some giveaway packs. Um, here's one giveaway pack. Let me, I'm going to pull this down. Get it back down to where it needs to be. John, I'm going to shut you off here. All right. I made one gift pack. Of all stereo stuff, there's um, stickers, there's radio faces and CDs in this pack here with a full set of draft design stereo stuff along with other 
stuff that I, I resin cast for my own personal use. Plus, I made a motor. Plus, I made a motor box. Um, you got four turbos in here. You have four pro chargers there. You have some Optima batteries, some regular batteries, um, some Barry Grants, some Predators, um, some Milodons. Um, some big block valve covers, some 572 valve covers. Inside here, you have um, some radio faces. Uh, not radio faces. You have um, tack gauges, other gauges, some plumbing wire. Um, you'll have a few different sets of intercoolers for your pro charger and for your turbos. Um, some high-rise manifolds. Um, this right here will also be part of the ticket draw. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to add some things in there to help you guys do it. Um, so, tickets right now are $5 a piece. You buy 10, you get 10 free, and you get to pick an envelope. Hello? Um, this is David. This is um, her husband. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's just a little info on there. If you buy 10, you get 10 free. Plus, you get to pick an envelope. Inside the envelope, um, inside of one of the 10 envelopes, as it stands right now, um, there's a set. There's a free set of Steve Zimmerman wheels. There's five what we're calling now forever tickets. I don't know where, where it went. Um, on the forever tickets, you can use your tickets now. I'm, I'm putting yellow tape on a forever ticket. It's in one of these envelopes. This is the other five from the one. Now, how I've explained it, the forever tickets are you buy now, you're going to get a gift. You open up this gift. Um, if it has the tickets in there, you can go ahead and contact me. Once, or you can make a decision once we open your envelope. We'll do it all live like we did the blind raffle. Um, once you, if you get the extra five tickets, you can add them into this drawing now. Or you can wait and add them to any drawing um, that comes forth. I plan on doing um, more forever tickets. Um, if you wanted a forever ticket, no matter what build would come up, no matter what, um, no matter what, you know, if, if I do a series of built built up again, or if we do a kit or the blind box, if you still hold your, if you still hold your forever ticket, you could put it in um, in any drawing um, that we do. Um, I bought a spool of 2,000 tickets, so we'll do a few drawings for a while. We'll let all the the hoopla about people getting upset and screaming the logistics over a raffle um we'll just do a ticket draw which is different because i'm actually selling something guys i'm not i'm um, asking you guys to you know what i mean i'm selling you a ticket for a ride if it, i wanted to sing uh what was that um Reading Rainbow Song. <laughs> I can fly high up in the sky. It's in a book. John, thank you, bud. We'll get details on this in a little bit. I got a little bit of uh, touch-up to do on here. Um, good thing John has a great eye for visuals and, and details. This thing here. Man thing here is just too killer dude too killer might be missing something else too john looks like it's missing a piece right through there i didn't see in the bubble wrap but we'll look for something and i got paint and plastic here we can always modify that and get it to work um but guys if you guys are looking for steelies look at those zimbermans man they are killer Yeah, there you go. Look at that detail. 
That's some nice wheels. All right, guys. Don't forget, check out our friend John over at Gap Hill Speed Shop. Again, on his card, you guys can follow him Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the uh, the Yuhu, uh, Yuhu. Guys, I'm hungry and thirsty. <laughs> you can check him out on YouTube as well. Um, he does do some live videos. Um, he goes on Facebook Live every few off, every so often. Um, get him away from his guns um, and get him back to table and building. Um, this is a great looking build, John, and I hope you're enjoying your summer in Alabama. I know you've been doing a lot of things you haven't been able to do in Pennsylvania. Um, you guys, take it easy. I'm out.